the wildflowers, ladies and gentlemen. The wildflowers. Overall, this thing filled up pretty damn nice. A little bit of color to it. Looks pretty good. Just gotta get some mulch for here, though. Fergie, and I think my pump's done. That's for damn sure. And uh, I've still yet to see a single fish in that pond. There's eight of them. Put them in over two weeks ago. I have yet to see a single fish. <laughs> so, I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, guys, it is uh, Tuesday, July 3rd. I should be down in the Cape. Changed my mind. Said not to go. Got to catch up on some work. I'm starting to fall behind in some areas. So, I ended up staying home. And, uh... Yeah, I fucked up pretty good, guys. I fucked up really good last night. So, we all know that I've been talking about putting in that uh, 20 horsepower Kohler V-twin motor in my Husqvarna Zero Turn right here. Well, I uh, I took the time last night to, uh, you know, bolt all the covers and stuff on. And I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I could probably get it running by the end of today. Well, can't do that anymore. Uh, I found something else about, found something else wrong with this motor. Um, not mechanically, just, uh, the shaft size again. Uh, yeah. So, last night I was getting ready to mark the shaft to see how much I got to cut off. I was right, it is threaded all the way up to the area where I can cut it. It's, this is a longer, this has got the four and a quarter shaft, as opposed to the three and a quarter shaft. Well, I mean, like I said before, it's just going to cut off the one inch and make up the difference. So I went to go slide this pulley on last night. Only to find out, only to find out that this shaft isn't a one inch shaft. This is a one and an eighth shaft. Um, yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I would have felt bad if I had shipped this thing all the way to the owner. Uh, which actually that is the case and uh, he did go to try to install it on his tractor because it would not have worked um, yeah I fucked up pretty good luckily I still had the same pulley uh, that came off this motor and I'll show it to you on this one that's all the way on guys and there's a good almost sixteenth of playroom there um, so yeah I fucked up pretty good there um, so I can't even use this motor pretty much, um, pretty much the only way how I'd be able to use the motor is as if I had an electric electronic PTO, which I did have, uh, I sold it on eBay a couple months ago, two months ago or a month ago, um, and this is actually the first time actually I've ever even noticed that the shaft is longer, I mean, uh, not longer, wider, um, so I fucked up pretty damn good. Not only if I uh, if the this motor wasn't damaged and got shipped to the uh, new owner, it would have been shipped back to me because of the fact that it's not a one-inch shaft. Uh, I never really measured it, and I never even thought to measure it. I just kind of, sort of looked at it and went, oh, one-inch shaft. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I fucked up pretty good. Um, this is the pulley that's supposed to go on it. Um, obviously that's not going to work. Yes, I can go out, get a whole nother pulley and a whole nother electronic PTO setup, but all of a sudden done, that's going to run me like another $120, which I don't have. Um, so I fucked up pretty good there. Fucked up really good. So my new plan of tactics here is I was thinking about putting this cooler V-twin in the, uh, Husqvarna Zero Term, but I'm just in that motor way too much in parts. So, new plan is, completely scratch the two Kohler ideas, just going to sell this one, sell that one, and pretty much, well, I'm not going to make a loss, I'm actually going to make money off of it, and uh, I think we're just kind of, I'm not, I'm not going to fight with myself anymore, I'm just going to go out, buy Briggs, <laughs> buy a Briggs, or if I can find a pretty cheap Kohler, I'll buy that as well. Um, you know, I completely fucked up on that, camera's about to die, I didn't charge it last night. Let me plug you guys in here. Get the little red light flashing. Alright, there we go. So yeah, I, uh, I fucked up pretty good on that. I can tell you that. Um, just something that I did not check 
I uh, probably should have checked it, but I just didn't check. Because I just thought, you know. Always check stuff. Don't think. Just just check. So, um, yeah. That really sucks now. So, kind of sort of back to square one again with this thing. No motor. Uh, like I said, I can put that V-twin on there. The colder V-twin that's sitting over there. But I'm already in that thing for way too much money and parts. I mean, not like all those, almost a little over $110 in parts alone. And that motor's not even mine, so I'd be paying someone else for the motor, which would be like another $100. That's $200 right there. Um, so it's it's not, yeah, it's as crazy as it may sound. I'm going to make more money selling the two motors, and I'll have to probably grab another parts motor or something like that. Uh, I know a place I used to buy some tractors off of. Uh, I bought those two John Deere Scotts tractor a while back in the winter there before I went to Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. And that one John Deere L120. I'm probably going to pick up another Scotts or another L2 uh, John Deere L120 there. And uh, probably chop it up and just use the motor on it. Um, damn, I completely fucked up pretty good, guys, I tell you that. So, uh, yeah, and also what I realized is the uh, exhaust that I was going to use on it, the exhaust is sitting right there with the one that's sticking up right there. Uh, I was planning on using it on that thing, and well, I probably should have kept that other cooler that came off that Scott's. I was sitting out there a few days ago with the oil cooler. I was almost tempted to keep it, but I ended up selling it anyway. That motor there would have fit fine on this tractor. Uh, I wouldn't have had to do anything with the governor. Uh, the governor was on the top, this governor's on the bottom, and they can't use it that way because of the exhaust setup. So I am I am so fucked right now. Like I, I have no motor on this thing. I'm kinda of sort of disappointed, you know. I was hoping to mow with it this weekend, but I guess that's not happening. Oh son of a bitch. You know, what can you do? Just one of those things where you should have checked something and you didn't check it. Oops. The same deal, just like these uh, bolts. Uh, I couldn't find the damn bolts last night for this motor. Uh, when I was putting it together, and it took me forever and ever to find them, and then I just happened to look over this one, I find them over here. Well, not over here. They were outside, but I found them. So now i got to take out a few bolts here and there just to put the right bolts in, not the super long ones, but, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> you got to live and learn. Live and learn, I guess. And well, I just learned a pretty good lesson right there, I tell you that much. So, I guess so we're going to be putting this thing back outside. Damn it. Really wanted to use it. Don't you just love it when you know you have something, but yet you can't find it anywhere? Oh, my goodness. I've been looking for the past 10 minutes now for a Kohler exhaust. I have these two over here. Those two ain't gonna work. I've been digging around, I've dug up in my bins. I can't find anything. What the hell? I know I have it. It's just the question of where. I just get done digging through there. Uh. But anyway, I got this motor all buttoned up. Uh, really nothing else on it to do. Obviously, it's missing the cover. Couldn't find that on eBay. So, it is what it is. I'm not going to dump any money into it. Oh, I already have dumped quite a bit of money into it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty, uh, pretty clean looking motor, I gotta say. Looks really nice, but it's too bad about that shaft. I wonder if I could find, oh, I don't know. If I could find another crankshaft, that'd be nice too, but I'm no, I know for a fact I'm not going to find one. You know, so it kind of, so it sucks. It sucks really bad. But I got this one all buttoned up. This is the one that got the new Magneto, uh, new PCV valves. This was the one that I did the head gasket and the studs on. Uh, a few other things and things like that. Uh, I'm just straight now trying to find the exhaust so I can fire this thing up and test it. Make sure everything runs good on it. Make sure there's no wraps or ticks or anything like that, you know. But I already have, I kind of sort of already have that sold. All I gotta do is make one phone call. And uh, Buddy Van Dude will be picking it up no problem. 
So I'd kind of like to get that sold today, but I'd like to test it first before I sell it, and I can't find my damn exhaust. Maybe it's up there. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll just have to straight pipe it. Hate doing that, it's just so fucking loud. Ooh, is this it? Yes, it is. Woo! Oh, I solved one mystery. Wow, that sounds wonderful. What the hell's in there? Alright, well, at least I found one, but it's got a whole mess of shit in there. What the hell's this thing? Oh, the whole the uh, all the exhaust thing fell. I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, whatever that is, it fell in. Awesome. So I gotta tighten up this one pipe, and we're gonna test this thing out. I gotta get my gas, my little gas uh, siphon thingy and stuff and junk like that. I'm still gonna make this thing into a table. Just haven't had full time on it. Well, not the motor into a table, but the stand I'm using. I'm going to raise it up probably about 16 to 18 inches up off the ground. Um, there's going to be like a little pole that comes up with a gas tank at the top and a battery tray up on there. So and I'm going to try and figure out if I can wire up like a wiring harness to it. So that way I can just use a key as well. But, you know, it's in the making just like a lot of things around here. So, uh, a few of you guys have been asking where's uh, PJ been lately. He's uh, He went camping I guess with a buddy. Um, so that's why he hasn't been here. He might be maybe by later on in the week. You never know. Um, also, I got some pretty interesting mail yesterday. I made a video of that. Um, check these out. Autograph Richard Petty uh, diecast cars. Yeah, these are pretty cool. And uh, it's a series and stuff like that. So, they're all legit. Got a little bit of a the picture and everything of the when he autographed it. So these came from uh, uh, North Carolina. The guy that shipped back that motor a while back. He didn't want it, stuff like that. Long story. He sent it back, it felt bad for us. So we sent that back as a little gift. He also sent uh, two, uh, two really nice uh, jerseys. Uh, not jerseys, just, um, I want to say vests, but they're not vests. They're, they're, they're nice jackets, I'll put it that way. Of uh, Richard Petty and stuff like that. They're number two. And um, one's for Dwayne, one's for me, I got uh, number 34 and he got number 35, so that's pretty cool. I think they're like, um, like a, I don't know, I think it's like 600 or something like that, maybe like 630, something like that, or 632. Um, one thing I'm also trying to figure out is uh, my truck, the air conditioner. Um, one of you guys sent me a link, I don't remember your username offhand, but sent me the link to Eric the car guy. Uh, it's funny that he actually sent me a link. I was actually subscribed to him. Um, I only, I actually just subscribed to him very about maybe three weeks ago. And then one of you guys sent me the video to his air conditioner link. And I'm almost thinking about doing it myself. I got a really good coupon from Harbor Freight. I'm thinking about getting the, uh, I got a 20% off coupon. And also have a $44. I can get the whole, uh, hose and valve kit and everything like that that I need. Um, $44, like a little gauge set there. So, pretty much I can buy all the tools uh, for $118 without tax. So with tax, it's going to be like about $125, I'd say. Um, then it's going to be another about $10 for the Freon shit. So, it's going to cost me, uh, I think it was like $30, $130 to bring to a dealership and have them do it. Or I could do it for $100, we'll say about $130, $35, $140. And I can do it. I can keep the tools. I think I'm going to go that route. And oh, I don't know what the hell that was. It was like a freaking owl or something. It's actually Jim's little fake owl. Um, so yeah. So I'm thinking about maybe just buying the shit. And then I'll do it myself. And I'll have the tools for another vehicle that I need to do the Freon shit to. So might do it. I don't know. Still kind of contemplating it. I gotta go. If I do do it, I have to go up to Harbor Freight tomorrow because that's what, the one day only sale. July 4th, it figures, you know. So, yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna go test that motor up, get it all set up, and maybe we'll do a cold start. I've never actually even heard that motor start at all because of the, uh, friggin' kickback it had on it. 
Yeah, that's, that's that should go on eBay pretty good. About forty-five dollars, no? Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah. Friggin' that thing! Holy shit! I can't believe how loud that kickback was on that. Who pow? All right, back to work. Well, I got the two coolers done completely. Tested that one. Tested that one, and we're golden. So this thing actually runs really nice. I, I'm pretty surprised how well. I gotta say, guys, these these Kohler V twins, they run so smooth. It's it's pretty nice. I gotta say. But, um, yeah, like my makeshift line there. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, I got them both running. They were both running pretty decent. Love them. Um, but I wish, uh, I wish one of them, if I wasn't in that one so much money, I would definitely put it into this one. But I, I really don't want to lose $200 out of my pocket, you know. I mean, I'm in that, I'm in that motor a little over a hundred and it's like a hundred and ten bucks something like that just in parts alone for it this one here I'm in it for I think a hundred and no 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 not in a hundred um like eighty something dollars somewhere around that I don't know I don't know why I'm doing that it's kinda weird um so I, I think my best bet is just to sell them both collect my profits off of them and uh, I'll find a Briggs or something I don't know my original thought was to put a Briggs in here, then change it to a Kohler, because I got this one in, because this one was kind of sort of a freebie, because FedEx fucked it all up. And, well, yeah. You know, some of you guys will be like, oh, I'll just grind the shaft down. I don't think so. I would never do that, you know. Like, I, I'd feel bad if I ground the shaft down, and then someday if I ever did sell it, something breaks on it, they, they'd be looking at it like, what the fuck, you know. Like, I, I just don't like doing that kind of stuff, guys. You know, I, a lot of you guys tell me, oh, just, you know, grind this or do this and kind of sort of redneck it. It's just like, I can't do it. It's just not in me. I want to get it done right. I want my equipment done right. And, um, yeah, do it right the first time, you know. But now I got to, I don't know, I got to put this thing, I guess, outside because now it's going on hold until I find another motor for it. How many motors we've had in this thing? Uh, I think we're going on three now. This, that will be the third one. We're going on a fourth one soon. That's something. <laughs> but I still like it. Still a nice zero turn. One thing I did notice too with this motor is it wouldn't fit quite properly, so I just have to drill the hole this way more. But, you know, not a bad little zero turn. Just needs more power. That 17 horse just does not cut it with the 48 inch deck. Needs a 20. Going for a 20 or a 19. And I ain't sticking a pose in there because there's no way a Briggs of pose is going in that thing. Not a big, big fan of the opposed. I used to be a big, big fan, but don't like them anymore. Alright, time to clean this place up. It's a wreck.
Oh, do you guys like that little episode? Figured it'd be fun for a change. Mowing the mask. Oh, that thing's got some power to it. I tell you that much. But, uh, yeah. So, what have I been doing for the past three hours since I last made that video? Well, to start off with, is I, uh, cut the neighbor's bushes. Big, big difference. Not as big there. Not as tall now either. It used to be like that tall. But uh, did that. Leaf blow the driveway. Leaf blow there. Straighten the tarp chamois out. Put the cover on the snowmobile. Turn the snowmobile. Uh, a few days ago I washed my door. All nice and shiny, same with that door. That was a couple days ago I did that, but uh, yeah, oh, it's so nice and cool in here. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna start cleaning this mess up. Just a wreck in here. Uh, Thursday afternoon, we have a tractor, we gotta put that motor in right there in it. This guy here is gonna go on the tractor. Uh, so that should be fun, fun, fun. Just gonna get this damn pulley off. Oh, I'm not in the mood of getting that thing off. Probably gonna end up probably cutting it off. Uh, I just have that funny feeling. But, oh well. Yep. I'm not really sure what kind of a tractor it's going on either. Don't think it's a Craftsman. Don't think it's a Murray. Don't think it's an MTD. I think it's one of those brands that's in between I think so that should be pretty interesting um yeah so that someone picking that motor up uh, late this week right Thursday or Friday so that'll be pretty good I'm still trying to toss up the uh, idea of buying the snowmobile off of eBay actually that just reminds me I gotta call you ship right now to find out what it's gonna cost to ship it here uh, because it's about four hours away and I ain't gonna drive that. I can't, I hate sitting in a vehicle for a long period of time and it's just, it bothers me so much. Um, so that's in like Roundport, Maine. So it's a good three and a half hour ride and I don't want to drive there. It's just, I think on the quote it was like $232 or something like that to ship it. So it's just easier just for me to pay the shipping on it. But that auction ends tomorrow afternoon. Um, I gotta just calculate my finances and see if I can't uh, if I can't buy it. So I'll have to wait and see. Uh, right now the auction's at like 100. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, 1,974 dollars. Um, you know I'm not gonna go any higher than 2,100 dollars. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a nice sled, but it's not that nice. I mean, it doesn't have reverse, you know, it doesn't have electric start, um, you know, it's just regular 2005 F7 Black Widow Edition. So, just got to calculate some shit, find out if I can afford it, find out if uh, I'll have the money. The dude wants money within seven week, seven days, should have the money within then. I just don't know how I'm going to get it to him. Um... Yeah, so I gotta actually I gotta call them right now. You ship. So once I'm done the phone with them, I'm gonna clean this place up because it's just a wreck. And uh, one of you guys asked me uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday's comments, um, what's the difference between Gator blades and regular blades? Um, well, these are just regular blades, just the high lift blades from Sears Crossan. Uh, nothing too too special there, and I'll show you the gator blades. Gator blades are pretty good. He's right. He's right here. Are the gator blades and my phone's ringing, but it can hold off in a second. So these are pretty well. They'll like mulch anything. So. Yeah, phone's ringing. Gotta get it. 
thing rings every day. It's a pretty good song there by Brooks and Dunn. Oh wait, that's not, yeah it is. Something Country, play me Something Country, good song. Anyway guys, we're going to end the video here. We'll call her a day. As you can see the shop's a little bit cleaner. Just a little bit. Um, pretty, and I gotta get a part for this thing. I'm probably gonna have to order that up tonight. I feel bad for the guy. He's been waiting and waiting and waiting for his leaf blower. So I guess I'll be ordering the part tonight. Hopefully I remember it. I just keep on forgetting. Just get to order the one bolt there. It's gonna go up to Lowe's, but I said fuck it. Fuck it. Just order the damn bolt. So yeah. I think we'll end the video here, guys. We'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Uh, until then, oh, make sure your shaft fits in the right hole. It isn't for you. Always check your shaft, make sure it's going to fit in the hole. Yeah. Didn't fit. Just just didn't fit. My, my shaft didn't fit in the hole. Just, just didn't fit. <laughs>